What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team. You guys all know that we are at the start of a brand new season here within Madden 17. Last time out, we got ourselves a new starting quarterback, none other than Dak Prescott. He had a great first episode, but now it is time to shift things back over on this side of the ball and make some more improvements to the defense, and that is going to include a total of four positions. So some of you guys also might remember from the last episode, with our right tackle, Eric Williams, I did say we are going to make further use of his Super Bowl past chemistry later on. Well, that time is now. We are going to be getting some players that are going to help increase the overall stats of that Super Bowl past chemistry. That is going to include our starting middle linebacker, our left outside linebacker, which means we ended up getting rid of Khalil Mack. That definitely sucks, man. I hate seeing Khalil Mack go. He was on our team for such a long time, and he was an absolute monster for us. We also got to get ourselves a new starting defensive tackle number one. I did put Ndamukong Sue down at defensive tackle number two. Didn't get rid of him off of the team just yet, and we also need to get ourselves a new starting left defensive end. So let's jump straight into these upgrades. So first things first, we're going to get our new lurker, man. Our new middle linebacker we're going to be roaming across the middle of the field with and hopefully getting a bunch of interceptions with while he is on our team so for 102,000 coins we are going to get a past Super Bowl legend from actually Super Bowl 20 Mike Singletary who is a 96 overall you guys see a quick look at his stats he does have an 86 speed at middle linebacker which isn't that bad it definitely you know can be done with 86 speed but his stats will be increased once all those chemistries are active on this guy so now we have ourselves a new lurker that we're going to be getting picks with at middle linebacker now it is time to go ahead and get our left defensive end so you guys are seeing him already 90 Eight overall Reggie White from the Green Bay Packers. This is actually from Super Bowl 31. Now, I did end up going in a little bit of a bidding war with some guy. I wanted to get this card for about 142,000 coins, but unfortunately, this guy thought he was going to win the bidding against me. So it finished off going at 174,000 coins, which is still a pretty good price for this card. So 98 overall Reggie White at left end is going to be on this new defense, man. I think he is going to be an absolute monster. I mean, he's already at a 98. And with all these chemistries on him, Super Bowl pass times three and pass rusher times two, I think he's going to be an absolute monster. So let's go ahead and talk about the mystery player that I left you guys all with in the end of last episode. I, of course, told you guys to leave your guesses in the comments on who you exactly think that this guy is that will be joining our team for today's episode and there there was no correct guesses that there was no, there was no correct guesses I'm actually super surprised I beat you guys for once nobody was able to guess this card correctly I, I I actually can't believe this you guys have been surprising me every single time and like 20 of you guessed the card correctly ever since I started doing this but today I guess I made it a little bit too difficult and nobody was able to get it so if we actually go ahead and remove the waves of this card you might be able to see the picture a little bit more clear and as we actually go ahead and reveal the final product of the card you can see now that it is 97 overall Von Miller you probably figured that out once I told you guys we were doing the Super Bowl past chemistry for today's episode and Von Miller is going to be our new starting left outside linebacker of course the MVP from Super Bowl 50 and I hope this guy performs just as well as Khalil Mack did and get to the quarterback as much as he possibly can a lot of you guys actually did think that this was the daily login of Landon Collins which when I actually compared the Landon Collins cards to the one that you know I actually you know messed with with the filters and whatnot I did see some similarities and I can see why a lot of you guys did guess that correctly but I'm surprised man I stumped a lot of you guys this time so as we go ahead our last position we have to get on the team is our starting defensive tackle and we're going to be getting Randy White from Super Bowl 12 that that's way before I'm pretty sure every single one of our times man I have absolutely no idea who this guy is but you know what he's got a 96 overall card he's got some pretty good looking stats so we are going to bring him in to our team of course with the Super Bowl pass chemistry and he also has inside blitzer times two so now that we have all of our new Super Bowl chemistry players we're gonna put them all into our team and you guys can see how our new defense is looking man it looks incredible we have upgraded not only our defensive line with randy white reggie white and von miller but we also have a new guy to man in the middle of the field with our middle linebacker mike singletary not to mention also that all of these guys are now up to 99 overall so starting at middle linebacker mike singletary now has an 88 speed which is even better at middle linebacker 95 awareness 96 tackle 97 play recognition 92 block shed 94 
pursuit and a 96 hit power. At left outside linebacker, Von Miller has an 89 speed and strength, 90 acceleration, 94 tackling, 91 play recognition, 95 block shed, and a 95 hit power. Defensive tackle number one, Randy White, 99 overall, has 88 speed, 90 strength, 88 block shed, and power move, 95 finesse move, 93 play recognition, and 92 pursuit. And hold up, I just realized... 88 speed at defensive tackle are you kidding me this guy has some blazing speed for being a defensive tackle and last but not least 99 reggie white has an 86 speed 93 strength 89 acceleration 93 block shed 99 power move 96 finesse move and a 91 play recognition our new defense with these super bowl players man they look absolutely insane i am so excited to see what every single one of these guys do i feel like reggie white and von miller is going to be getting tons of sacks i'm expecting lots of interceptions with mike singletary but also over on the offense once again I let you guys know of course Eric Williams does have that Super Bowl cast chemistry as well and you guys can see his stats now he has a lot of plus ones I'm not going to read all those because we'd be here for another 10 minutes if I read all of those but this is now how our new right tackle Eric Williams is looking like since we do have the Super Bowl cap pass chemistry now maxed out so there it is guys the defense is complete for today's episode we have not changed anything on the offense that you guys have last seen them but if you did miss the episode make sure you guys go check it out we debuted Dak Prescott for the first time it is up at the top right hand corner if you guys did miss the episode but now it is time to go ahead and see how these past Super Bowl legends perform against current NFL players. We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. How ironic is this? We're about to play against the Super Bowl cards that were given out for free. The limited time cards from this year's Super Bowl, which... I mean, they're limited cards. This guy obviously hasn't played Ultimate Team in like six months or something crazy like that. But we're about to play against the Super Bowl players from this year's Super Bowl with our past Super Bowl legends on our team. I mean, I don't know. I just thought that was actually really funny and ironic that we ended up getting matched up against this guy. So to start things off, you guys can see Von Miller is already coming up with his first sack. That is something I'm just loving seeing. I hope that this guy just gets at least like two or three sacks every single game that we have him on our team now he also does have marshawn lynch at running back he kept trying to run a lot with this guy gotcha bitch and we end up getting our first user pick with mike singletary he decided to go for it on fourth and six and that was a big time mistake we got the pick almost was able to return it for a touchdown that would have been some first interception with mike singletary if we could have went for a touchdown but on offense, it was no problem. In just one play, there was nobody in the middle of the field, which left Greg Olson just wide open for a very easy touchdown, giving us the 7 to nothing lead. So as we're back out on defense, I was trying to use Von Miller a lot of this game. You guys will see that my defense necessarily didn't perform as well as I would have liked them to, you know, without me controlling the middle linebacker because I was really wanting to use Von Miller and see if I could get him as many sacks as possible. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is a fullback that just got a pickup of 19 yards. My defense wasn't able to cover him while I'm trying to use her the D-line. Like, are, are you kidding me? Like, I expect better things out of my defense if I want to use her Von Miller every once in a while. So my opponent was able to slowly work his way down the field. And for some reason, that's Jadavion Clowney in one-on-one -on -one coverage with Julian Edelman. I'm not exactly sure who decided it was a good idea to put that man on one-on-one coverage with the receiver, but obviously he failed at his job and let up a touchdown. So the game is now tied at 7-7, seven to seven and... On first and 10, like I said, offense was just a little bit too easy against this guy. We throw it to a wide open Demarius Thomas. That is now two plays, two touchdowns. Both times our receivers go completely untouched for a touchdown. And we are having ourselves a fantastic start to the day. Now, as we're picking things back up at the start of the third quarter, you do see the score is now 14 to 13. But it, it was just... It wasn't very many offensive highlights. I mean, really, we just got touchdowns in one play every single time as we go with the screenplay to Leonard Fournette. I believe that was like an 81-yard screenplay or something along those lines that we just went for for a touchdown. And then as we came back out on defense, this is where things started to get good in the second half of this game. You do see this is Reggie Wright coming up with a hit. Now it's even Jadavion Clowney. That is two and a half sacks for this guy, I swear. I don't know how this card's a 93 overall because he plays like he's a 99. Gotcha, bitch. And then Joe Hayden comes up with another interception. That now makes two interceptions for our defense in today's episode, or at least for today's game. And that now has a turnover on down. So again, we just go with a wide receiver screen this time to Demarius Thomas. And that now makes two catches and two touchdowns for Demarius Thomas. I mean, we scored 
so quickly on offense every single time that we had the ball. It was insane. And at this point, there wasn't really a whole lot, you know, to show you guys as of highlights for our new players. The score is now 31 to 21. It's kind of over. Gotcha, bitch. But there is a couple more plays I want to show you guys. So Bob Sanders, our strong safety, does come up with the interception right at the sideline. And I'm not going to lie, I was kind of messing with this guy a little bit. As soon as I would get a turnover, I would just kick a field goal because I wanted to see my defense back on that field, man. I wanted them to make more plays. And as you guys can see, Reggie White does exactly that. Comes up with his first sack in this game. Gotcha, bitch. And then on the tipped pass, we get another user interception with Mike Singletary. And that is going to officially close out this game. Two interceptions for Mike Singletary in our first game. And actually, we did kick one more field goal. I forgot about this. I just wanted to keep seeing my defense make more plays, man. And with no time left on the clock, he's just going to throw this up. Gotcha, bitch. Ladarius Webb is going to come up with the interception. And he he's going to rub a little bit of salt in the wound on this one. I don't know why, I just thought that was pretty funny that the commentator ended up saying that those two points we had to get at the very end were completely unnecessary. I don't know, I just, I thought that was pretty funny. Now, I did end up playing one more game with our new defensive players. Not going to show you guys the entire game because it, it was kind of a blowout. I just wanted to show you guys a few more highlights from our new players that we got for today's episode. So you can see here on the goal line, Von Miller comes up with a sack. Gotcha, bitch! And then we get ourselves our third user interception with Mike Singletary. I'm absolutely loving usering this card, man. I mean, he's got great speed. He just feels so good running around the field with and I mean for our first episode we've already got three user picks with this guy we can't ask for much more than that and Von Miller has been showing up as well so later on the score was 13 to 15 make it 38 to 15 with this touchdown with Leonard Fournette and at that point it was already a blowout but to, for one more touchdown my opponent officially had enough. The connection to your peer has been lost. So that is going to do it for today's episode, you guys. I hope all of you did enjoy. Our new Super Bowl Pass Legends has been incredible, man. I'm loving these new cards. But it is now that time, once again, to leave you all with a mystery player for who is going to be joining our team in the next episode. I hope I made this one a little bit more easier for you guys. I want at least some of you guys to get it correctly. I think a lot of you guys will redeem yourselves with this card and get it in the right episode. This is, by the way, an offensive player. So once again, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy. We got a lot of episodes coming out for the rest of Madden 17 man they're going to be coming out at rapid fire trust me so once again thank you guys all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you did and i will catch you all in the next one take it easy guys peace out Ew,